about race. The share of Americans who say race relations are bad in this country is the highest it's been in decades, much of it amplified by shootings of African Americans by police, as we've seen recently in Charlotte and Tulsa. Race has been a big issue in this campaign, and one of you is going to have to bridge a very wide and bitter gap. So how do you heal the divide? Secretary Clinton, you get two minutes on this. Well, you're right. Race remains a significant challenge in our country. Unfortunately, race still determines too much, often determines where people live, determines what kind of education in their public schools they can get, and yes, it determines how they're treated in the criminal justice system. We've just seen those two tragic examples in both Tulsa and Charlotte. And we've got to do several things at the same time. We have to restore trust between communities and the police. We have to work to make sure that our police are using the best training, the best techniques, that they're well prepared to use force only when necessary. Everyone should be respected by the law and everyone should respect the law. Right now, that's not the case in a lot of our neighborhoods. So I have, ever since the first day of my campaign, called for criminal justice reform. I've laid out a platform that I think would begin to remedy some of the problems we have in the criminal justice system. But we also have to recognize, in addition to the challenges that we face with policing, there are so many good, brave police officers who equally want reform. So we have to bring communities together in order to begin working on that as a mutual goal. And we've got to get guns out of the hands of people who should not have them. The gun epidemic is the leading cause of death of young African American men, more than the next nine causes put together. So we have to do two things, as I said. We have to restore trust. We have to work with the police. We have to make sure they respect the communities and the communities respect them. And we have to tackle the plague of gun violence, which is a big contributor to a lot of the problems that we're seeing today. All right, Mr. Trump, you have two minutes. How do you heal the divide? Well, first of all, Secretary Clinton doesn't want to use a couple of words, and that's law and order. And we need law and order. If we don't have it, we're not going to have a country. And when I look at what's going on in Charlotte, a city I love, a city where I have investments, when I look at what's going on throughout various parts of our country, whether it's, I mean, I can just keep naming them all day long. We need law and order in our country. And I just got today uh, the, as you know, the endorsement of the Fraternal Order of Police. We just, uh, just came in. Uh, we have endorsements from, I think, almost every police group, very, I mean, a large percentage of them in the United States. Uh, we have a situation where we have uh, our inner cities, African Americans, Hispanics, are living in hell because it's so dangerous. You walk down the street, you get shot. In Chicago, they've had thousands of shootings, thousands, since January 1st. Thousands of shootings. And I'm saying, where is this? Is this a war-torn country? What are we doing? And we have to stop the violence. We have to bring back law and order. In a place like Chicago, where thousands of people have been killed, thousands over the last number of years. In fact, almost 4,000 have been killed since Barack Obama became president. Over four, almost 4,000 people in Chicago have been killed. We have to bring back law and order. Now, whether or not in a place like Chicago you do stop and frisk, which worked very well, Mayor Giuliani is here, it worked very well in New York, it brought the crime rate way down, but you take the gun away from criminals that shouldn't be having it. We have gangs roaming the street, and in many cases, they're illegally here, illegal immigrants, and they have guns, and they shoot people. And we have to be very strong, and we have to be very vigilant. We have to be, we have to know what we're doing. Right now, our police, in many cases, are afraid to do anything. We have to protect our inner cities because African American communities are being decimated your, by crime. Your two, minutes is, your two minutes expired, but I do want to follow.